Hello, welcome back to the train shed. It's time for another model railway update. What are we doing today, Simon? We are going to take apart the viaduct. Um, so we can re completely rebuild the landscape around it, slash river. Simon's train adventure. Uh, I built this viaduct module I think between 15 and 20 years ago, and I think we can improve upon it now. It's quite a main feature of our layout. It's the first thing you see as you come through the train shed door. So we want it to look really good. I think it's time to rip apart the layout. We've been putting off doing this for a little while because it means taking apart the track we've got down. So we won't be able to run trains for a while while we work on this bridge module. But it's got to be done. So let's get cracking. So as you can see, by this little clip, and the viaduct has now been finally removed. It's time to go out to the normal shed to get the workbench so we can work on some pieces of wood. Well, we've stripped all the landscape away from this viaduct, but what's underneath uh, is not in a very good shape. Um, I mean, I'm going to replace these parts anyway, but uh, we're going to have a look and see if Metcalf still make this kit. And if they do, I think we're going to just build a new viaduct from scratch. Good news is that this kit still exists, so I'm going to order two and we will build a new thing. We ordered them two days ago and they have come for two new Metcalf viaduct kits. Well, I built the four spans of this viaduct now from the Metcalf kit. Each one looks like this and the standard Metcalf kit comes with two of these uh, plus two uh, end bits. Um, I've got four because I've built two kits and now I'm coming to the point of fixing them together and this is why I thought I'd show you how I make it slightly curved. Um, it's very simple really. Um, normally in the instructions you just join these together uh, straight like that but all you have to do is add a little gap in the back and fill that in with something. There's lots of spare printed card in the kit so you can cover over that join at the back with extra printed card. And in my model, that's going to be around the back anyway, so it's not going to be particularly visible, although I'm still going to try and make it look nice. Um, so that's really how you add the curve to this viaduct. You can get some sense of how big this thing is going to be. I just thought I'd show you here is the viaduct, the main components of it assembled and the walls put on. And you can see the extra pieces of card I've let into the back to give it its slight curve here and here and here well and on the end pieces as well one effect of this is that the walls on the top don't line up exactly here they are aligned in the center but then if you look at the next one these are not lined up here um, you could create an extra bit of wall to go in there to make it line up more easily but uh, I, i'm not too bothered, bothered about it this side is going to be facing away from the viewer in my railway so I, it wasn't a huge concern to me so i'm quite happy with how this is coming along it's time to put the track bed on next and then there are little pieces to go over each of these joins here which make those look nice and then it's just about finished uh, i'm going to show you now how to fit the bridge deck it needs to be slightly modified from its original design because of the curve i've put on so i've just lined up this corner here so i've made a mark with a pencil just here and i'm going to use the steel ruler to join those two points up and just slice the end of that and do the same thing at this end which i'll mark up while i'm here uh, so just need a mark right there on that join and another mark right down here on this join and then you can uh, make that fit really nicely. And then you just got to repeat that enough times to cover the whole of the deck. When the track bed is in, glued down and being weighted down with appropriate heavy tins. Very useful thing for the cardboard modeler are these. Um, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry now before I start putting the outer wall joiny pieces. This is the viaduct module so far. We're gonna extend the legs using the original viaduct module. I'm just going to make some templates out of card here to match these legs. I'm going to make extensions for the middle legs. I've just been building some prototype leg extensions out of the spare bits of card. There's not quite enough card in the kit to do all of this for all of these legs. Um, so I'm going to go and buy some more card in a minute and some more of this printed stone card to dress it with. Um, but these are going to form prototypes. I'm going to measure these up and work out exactly what sizes I want. So I can build lots of different uh, legs to extend many of these probably not all of them because the end ones will be in the embankments but yeah this is the sort of thing i'm aiming for quick trip to the twice of model shop simon aka berkshire doll's house and model co
Here are my two prototype leg extensions on the viaduct and here's the markup for one of them. They have to be two different styles. Flanged one that looks like this to go here, here and here. And these are the two straight ones. So this is the design for the flanged ones, which are obviously wider at the back than at the front. So I'm gonna make two more of those and then that should give me enough extensions. What do you reckon, Simon? Great, let's do some more viaducting. Oh yeah. Desk's looking very full, but here are my leg extender inners. I decided to make a couple more because I'm not exactly sure how the landscape's gonna look around each end. So I thought it better to be safe than sorry. Um, it's okay if I don't end up using them. The next thing to do is to cover these with the printed stone card. Um, I've got the Metcalf set there. This is our new viaduct. We just um, done the extensions. I don't know if they're glued in. They're not glued in yet. So it's just balanced like that now, but we're pretty happy. There's gonna be some joiny bits to cover the joins here. We're Shall gonna extend this brickwork down. I'll show you one of these joiny bits. It's going to look like that, but it's going to have little printed bits on it. And it goes round like that. That's right. I'll hide the join with some printed Like cards. a cable tie. Pretty happy with that. Do you like it, Simon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does look good, doesn't it? Nice. Can't wait to see it in a landscape with some trains going over it. I'm sure you'd already spotted that I'd done these with the wrong card. I'm going to do them again with the right card. Once I realised, I couldn't leave them like that. Um, so it's going to be a bit more work. Hopefully not too much more, but it's going to look even better. It did good service for 20 years, but it's had its time. Slightly grew down the end so it fits in there. Um, not quite sitting low enough yet. I need to take a little bit more here and here, but I think that's looking all right. And here it is, slightly trimmed down to size. The viaduct in situ on its baseboard. Obviously it doesn't have any uh, landscape around it yet and it will do, it will have hillside so that uh, the piers don't just stand on bare wood. And there'll be two tracks across the top, whereas currently I've just got the one that's just sitting there um, but yeah it fits and I think I might run a train across the top of it I think that would be fun <laughs> for watching our video. It doesn't get much better than that. Simon.